Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I am to the E. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about October. And don't fall on me. I got a stack of books, but this is the only stack I got. Because, let me turn you around. Um, you see that pile right there? Yeah, send me help, please. Because I'm also going to try and work on those books. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into this TV video. I have no idea what that was, so forgive me. It's been a long day. Anyway. Sorry about the squeakiness. It's the chair that I'm sitting in. Anyway. Now to the books. We're going to be talking about the first stack of books that I'm going to try to get into because I am hosting a Hocus Pocus read-a-thong that starts Tuesday and I'm super excited. I can't wait. I mean, I can, but I mean, I want to jump into these books now. So, <laughs> shall we get into this? Let's do it. Alright, and for the team I am on, which is Team Trick or Treaters, we have a prompt to complete a 24 hour readathon. Now, for that, I have chosen three books. They're not too big or too small. The rest of the books are big, but we'll, we'll get into that. But for the readathon, I thought I could start off with reading. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Season of the Witch, and it looks pretty good. I watched a few episodes of this on Netflix, and I really, really liked it. I need to finish that season. <laughs> Who am I? But anyway, it sounds really good, and I can't wait to get into the book. And basically, it's about, it's the summer before her 16th birthday, and Sabrina Spellman knows her world is about to change. And that's all I'm going to tell you, because I don't want to give too much away, and I don't want to know too much about my books. I try to go into the blind. That's almost everyone, right? But we're moving on from Sabrina. The next book I want to try to get done in my 24 hour readathon is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. It is a graphic novel and the color schemes look um, amazing and it looks like it'll be super cute and it's about these kids who work on a family pumpkin patch. And I think it's their last year there, and so they're just going to make it really amazing. And, like, the end pages on it, though, like, with a little map of the cornfield and everything, I really love that. Like, I like pumpkin patches, and I might be going to one soon. And if I do, maybe I can take my camera. <gasps> we'll see. I can't promise anything, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Alright, and then the last book I want to try to get through the 24-hour readathon is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Now, from what I've heard about this, it's really, really good. And every year, the people who... Or, sorry. Every year, the people of Pro... I'm not going to even try to say that word. Leave a baby as an offering to the witch who lives in the forest to keep from terrorizing their town. But the witch, Exan, is really kind and gentle. She shares her home with a wise swamp monster and a perfectly tiny dragon. Exan rescues the children and delivers them to the welcoming families on the other side of the forest. One year, Exan accidentally feeds a baby moonlight filling the ordinary child with extraordinary magic. Woo! The magic. 
And that's all I'm going to give you a clip of for The Girl Who Drank the Moon. And like I said, people really do love and enjoy this book. And I'm hoping to be one of those people. So I'm super excited to get into it. Alright, for the rest of the TBR, we have two different group books, which is Hocus Pocus and the All-New Sequel and Servants and Dove. Huh, me, I'm going to be extra and try to read both of these. Now, I might try to also fit either this one or this one into the 24-hour read-a-thong read <laughs> that I want to do. Or I might just add them both just so I can get them both done because they ain't small pages. But, to be fair, this one has two and one in there. And this one is just one big one, but they both sound really, really good. I've heard mixed reviews on this one. People either love it or they hate it. And then this one I've heard really, really good reviews on. So, again, we're going to go and try to read both of these books. And I'm excited about both. Like, I want to start this one now, and I also want to start this one now because it sounds really good. So, we're going to set these aside, and hopefully I don't start it before... Uh, Tuesday. Um, we're gonna try. Alright, so the other book I have is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. I'm gonna get my notebook so I can tell you what the prompts are for because I am horrible. At trying to remember things. Alright. Now, Vengeful is for Don't get caught by the Sanderson sisters. Study a magical foes by reading a fantasy novel, which is worth five points. And I'm going to count it as a fantasy novel. I am currently reading Vicious, and I'm enjoying it. I'm going to try to get it done between today, which is Sunday, until hmm, tomorrow night. So I can jump into Vengeful very soon. So there is that for me. And like I said, this sounds up really good so far. Alright, and then the one I'm going to do the prompt for Light the Black Flame Candle. Read a book by Fash Light at Night. And for that one, I am going to be doing A City of Ghosts by the Ishwab. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this one, because it's been around for a little bit. I'm just, of course, late to the party. That is me. Hmm. I have them, but have I read them yet? Uh, who, me? No. Alright. And then a next one I have... You heard the legend of the Sanderson sisters. Set the mood for a Halloween night by reading a spine-tingling book, which is also worth for five points. And for that one, I am going to finally be picking up A Curse So Dark and Lonely. And from what I've heard of this one, it's a uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I like me some Beauty and the Beast, and I'm excited to get to this one. I've heard, again, also nothing but good Thanks for it, and the second one comes out next year, so I really need to get my butt on a move on. So, um, there's that. And then, Thackeray Binks is here to guide you all. Read a book with a squad of five points. And for that one, I'm going to be going with these witches. Don't burn and... I'm really pumped and excited for about this one. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this one because it's been around for a little bit, but I will let you guys know in my review slash wrap up on when I think about all these books. So, and just look at the cover. Like, yes. Alright, and... Let me see here. Winifred has taken to the stage, casting her spell. Cover your ears so you don't hear it. Listen to an audiobook. 
Now, for this, some of these I'm repeating myself because I already made a video for it, but I am going to be listening to The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. It sounds really good, it sounds really super creepy, and it is a spooky season, and I need me all the spooky books slash movies, but this is a TBR video, not a film video. So, we have A Woman in the Window. So, yes, and it's, from what I've heard, it's a thriller book, and I haven't read a whole lot of thriller, except for It by Stephen King, and I've read it twice. Oh, spooky, let me tell you. But, that's the first half of my books that I want to read. We still have the other half that I want to try to get through, and I will go through those right now. The other book I'm hoping to get to is uh, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It's a little short book. I think I can handle it. And I think we all know about Frankenstein, but if not, let me read the back to you. <clears throat> In an attempt to create a perfectly new being, scientist Victor Frankenstein secretly assembles a collection of body parts and activities it with an electrical charge. The result is horrifying, even to his maker, and is never named. And that is a Frankenstein. Like I said, I can probably easily get through that. So, who knows, I may add this to my 24 hour readathon as well, but we shall see what happens. Ooh, why are we like this? Nobody knows. Alright, the next book I have here is What You Hide by Natalie D. Richards. And it sounds super good. On the mirror in red brown lipstick smears is a message that was absolutely not here when I walked in. Stay hidden. It's not like Mallory wanted to leave home. But it wasn't safe to stay, so she sleeps at her best friend's house and spends most of her time at the library figuring out what comes next, determined not to live in fear like her mother. Spencer volunteers at the library. Sure, she's com sure it's community service for a stunt he pulled, but he likes the work, and it's a perfect escape from his parents' pressure to excel at school. At ice hockey, at everything, especially after he meets Mallory. Then a tragic death that turns their sanctuary into someplace sinister. Ghostly footprints, strange scratching sounds, scrawled messages on the bulletin boards and walls. Mallory and Spencer don't know who or what is responsible, but one thing for sure, they are not as alone or as safe as they thought. This sounds spooky and right up my alley. Alright, the next book I've had on my TBR for a really long time and I really need to get around to it because I even have the second book. Mm. But that is How to Hang a Witch by Adriana Matter. Salem, Massachusetts is the site of infamous witch trials and the new home of a 16-year-old Samantha Matter. Recently transplanted from New York City, Sam is not exactly welcomed with open arms. She is a descendant of Cotton Mather, one of the men responsible for those trials and almost immediately becomes the enemy of a group of girls who call themselves the Descendants. And guess who their ancestors were? As if dealing with that wasn't enough, Sam finds herself face to face with a real, live, well, technically dead ghost. A handsome, angry ghost who wants Sam to stop touching his stuff. Soon, Sam discovers she is at the center of a centuries-old curse affecting everyone with the ties to the trials. Sam must come to terms with the ghost and work with the descendants to stop a deadly cycle that
that has been going on since the first alleged witch was hanged. If any town should have learned its lesson in Salem, but history may be about to repeat itself. And that is how to hang a witch, and it sounds, like I said, super good, but I've had it forever. I just really need to read it because it sounds good, and it's not super long, so hopefully it's manageable, you know. Alright, so the next book I really want to get into, because the third book it comes out in November, and I read the first one a while ago. I <laughs> can't remember what month it was, but I have it written down somewhere. But that is The Wicked Keen by Holly Black. I don't feel like I should need to give synopsis for this, because A, it's been around for a while, and again, B, I'm always late to the party. But the first one I really liked and enjoyed, and I can't wait to get to Wicked King! So, yes, please. I am so sorry for the squeaky chair. <laughs> Alright. The other book I want to try to get to is Toil and Trouble, which is 15 tales of a woman in a witchcraft. And there's a lot of authors on the back. I'm trying to think of if I've heard of any of them. I don't think so. But, <clears throat> scorn the witch, fear the witch, burn the witch. History is filled with stories of women accused of witchcraft, of fearsome girls with a Korean knowledge. Toil and Trouble features the 15 stories of girls embracing their power, reclaiming their destinies, and using their magic to create, to curse, to cure, and to kill. And that is all I'm going to give for this one, because that part right there has me hooked. And just look at the cover, it's just so beautiful. Moving on, moving on. The next book I'm excited to get to, I have also know it's a TV show, I haven't watched it, but it sounds super good, and it's A Discovery of Witches. Deep in the heart of Oxford's board in library, sorry, I'm going to probably be butchering a lot of these, which I normally always do, I do try, anyway. Diana Bishop, a young scholar of the descendant of witches, unearths an enchanted alchemical manuscript. I know that was way wrong, but manuscript is right. Wanting nothing to do with sorcery, she banishes the book to the stacks. But her discovery has set a fantastical underworld stirring, and, a, and soon. A horde of demons, witches, and other creatures descend upon the library. Among them is the engineer and mathematic Matthew Claremont, a vampire with keen interest in the book. Equal parts of history and magic, romance and suspense, a discovery of witches is a memorizing and an addictive tale of passion and obsession that reveals the closely guarded secrets of an enchanted world. And again, words are hard, but we try on this channel. So like I usually say in the videos, please bear with me. I do try on some of these words. I don't know half of them, but I try my best to sound them out, so... <laughs> Like I said, please bear with me. Alright, the next book I have, which I didn't know it was going to be a book, but I love both of the movies. They're my favorite of all time. And that is Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to you. And if you have heard of this movie, awesome! Really cool. I really love it. But like I said, I didn't know it was a book, and when I seen that, I was like, um, 
I need that book in my hands, and here it is in my hands. Have I read it yet? <laughs> no, but we're going to hopefully do it this month. And if you don't know what Happy Death Day is, it's basically about this girl named Teresa. She is a college student who keeps living the same day over and over again. And the twist is, it happens to be her birthday. And she's trying to figure out who her killer is. And the killer happens to wear a mask that is their mascot of the college. And it's really good, it's creepy, and she has a couple of friends that help her along the way. Or one friend who's super cute. <laughs> anyway, if you have seen the movie, this is a case where I'm going to say please see the movie before you read the book. Or, if you want to do it the opposite way, please read the book and then see the movies, because the movies are everything. Like I said, the book didn't come out until, like, later, so there wasn't a way for me to read it before I saw the movie. So, in this case, I'm going to say, watch the movies, read the book. That's the way I did it. And I'm sticking to that. Alright, the next one I... I am super excited to finish the second book too. I read the first one last year and I really, really enjoyed it. And now I am here for Muse of Nightmares by Lanny Taylor. If you haven't heard of this book or this world, um, where have you been? Are you behind on stuff like I am? Because I'll be cool but also trust me you want to read this book and this world like I said it's amazing and I love me some last strange he is a librarian and just he gets to go on this incredible adventure to learn about more about this world called weep that he studies and he's the only one who seems to really understand about it so when he gets picked to go along with these group of people to figure what the mystery is all about he's one of the first to go so that's all I'm gonna say about that one I don't want to give too much away but it's been around for a little bit again I'm late to the party as usual are we surprised mm hmm no. <laughs> Alright, so the next one I'm going to hopefully try to get to is An, An Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason by Virginia Broker. I'm not sure if I butchered that last name, but this is what I'm going to read for you. I know you come here to kill the Queen. I know your name is Catherine Arndell. I know that your father was part of of a plot against the queen and that you took his place. Do you deny it? And that is this lovely book. I haven't heard too much about this one so we'll see how I feel about it if I do get to it next month. There's a lot of books I would love to get to and some I need to finish from <laughs> September might fall in into October, which is fine. It gives me more books read, and I would feel amazing. Alright, the next book I want to try to get to is After the Fire by Will Hill. That name is easy to say. The only way out of darkness is to destroy it. Don't listen to her. Everything is going to be okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. I stare at him. I stare at him. And I don't say a word. I don't say a single word because I think he's wrong. Even now, after the fire and the bullets and the blood, there's still something to be scared of. And I'm pretty sure I'm looking at him. And if that doesn't have you hooked, I don't know what will. 
please don't fall down. Yay. <clears throat> the other book I have is How She Died and How I Lived by Mary Crockett. I was one of the five. The five girls Kyle texted that day. The girls it could have been me, Lindsay Barrow, Taylor Avril, Blair Mattern, Jamie Strand. Only Jamie, a beautiful, saintly Jamie, was kind enough to respond. And it got her killed. Okay, we got two more books left. So let's go ahead and talk about these last two. The other one I have, uh, This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher. One year ago, there was a party. At that party, someone died. Five teens each played a part, and up until now, no one has told the truth. Tonight, the five survivors arrive at an isolated mansion in the hills expecting to complete in a contest with a $50,000 grand prize. Of course, some things are too good to be true. They were each so desperate for the prize they didn't question the odd, rather exclusive invitation until it was too late. Now they realize they have been lured together by a person bent on revenge. A person who will stop at nothing to uncover what actually happened on that deadly night one year ago. Five arrived, but not all can leave. And that is This Lie Will Kill You. I say it's so creepy. I don't mean to, but in a way, it fits the video. Alright, the last book I'm hoping to get to is The Creeping by Alexandra Sorori. Mm -hmm. If you hunt for monsters, you will find them. Eleven years ago, Stella and Jeannie disappeared. Only Stella came back. Now, all she wants is a summer full of cove days, friends, and her gorgeous crush until a fresh corpse leads Stella down a path of an ancient evil in secrets. Stella believes remembering what happened to Jeannie will save her. It won't. She used to know better than to believe in what slinks through the shadows. Not anymore. And that is the creeping, and that's all the synopsis that it gives me. So, please wish me luck for on all of these books. I don't know if I will get to all of them. My plan is, hopefully, if I do, that will be fantastic. But we're going to try my best on these. So, there is that goal to keep in mind. And... If you are new here to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know you want to, because you don't want to miss further videos from me. I try to upload them as soon as I can. My internet's it's a little slow, but, you know, I try to get videos uploaded. I don't have, like, a regular schedule for when I upload them. Yay. Because it would take forever for it to upload on that exact day. But, I do try. But anyway, that was my October TBR video. I hope it was okay, and like I said, sometimes words are hard for me, but I do try my very best to say them all. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. And I will see you guys very soon. I have a September TBR, or TBR, September wrap-up coming soon. I still need to film my August wrap-up, but, um, huh. hmm, it's almost October. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Bye!